Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Seiko Beercraft back having an India Pale Ale by Big Rock Breweries. Casting some StarCraft 2 Pro matches, this is from the Kaspersky Cup. We've got T-Fal, the bottom right, against Hero Marine, the top right. For Mouse Sports, Mouse Sports doing pretty good for themselves. I actually quite enjoy watching their... Uh, different team matches that they have going on there. I think I was just watching them going against Western Wolves recently, doing quite well. Obviously, they have Vortex on there and his brother, Lucifron, just be able to help out with some top, 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 top level of foreign play. This is what I say, unless we got something really funky, which is going to have a little bit of an extractor trick. Which essentially just buys you another few seconds. I generally don't do too many extractor tricks unless I'm cheesing because if you just screw it up once and accidentally cancel or do something wrong, then it's... Then somebody's going to watch the replay and laugh at you. I don't like being laughed at. Pretty excited to have a few more replays put out there. I should have the finals of this tournament put up here pretty quick as well. I don't remember which round this was from, but it is, I believe, a best of five. May have been a best of three. I'll have to reconfirm that, but regardless, this is game one, so we won't know how it's going to end for a while. Stay tuned. We are going to have the pool first, and against the Terran, which I'm a little bit surprised about. He might just be worried about some Reaper pressure, or he's got some sort of aspirations to doing his own pressure, because this is a four-player map. So not going for a macro opening I find to be a little strange. There goes the drone. Maybe he just likes really good safe openings. It doesn't cost you too much time in economy. Go for spawning pool first. I think it equates to a couple of drones if you do everything perfectly. And if you have this out, generally if you are going to get hit with some sort of cheese, you'll be able to defend it. And as I like to say, if you're playing like a best of five, you're generally going to cheese on the first game. That's where you can set a bit of a statement, screw people up a little bit more. Gonna head out for a scout, see where the Zerg player's at. Back at home. Gonna be having a gas thrown down here. So we still might just see maybe a Reaper out, but I doubt that severely. This is likely just gonna help him move up into factory tech so he can get out his Hellions. The good old standard Hellions. Looks like the Zerg's gonna fight the Terran first. But because the command center's on a low ground, it'll be slightly, slightly delayed. Queens on the way. So excited. I've got this computer that I essentially borrowed from my company and it's just hauls so much butt. And watch, I can watch it like eight times replay speed and not, not lag at all. It just blows my mind. I feel like doing a... I don't think he's going to get it. I feel like doing like a Fonzie cast where I just try to see if I can cast with a replay going at full speed and seeing how well I can take care of it. But I think that could also just be exceptionally annoying. I don't think he's going to get this. Hero is going to be pretty close. Wow, that was really close. Marines are out. Command Center is going to be heading down. And obviously the Terran player knew where the Zerg player was because of the Overlord. So he redirected the path of said SCV. Nothing but queens and drones. Extra queens. Super good thing to have. you got to push that creep out, particularly if you want to take any type of early third. And then you want to be able to deny any type of very early Hellion play. That looks like it's going to be the case. We already got the reactor down. And this is that really dangerous two marine opening that I've seen punished from time to time. Because once that reactor starts in that barracks, I mean, it's, it's kind of locked in. It's even going to be a super, super greedy three command center. Only two marines to really defend against all this. And one of the marines is scouting for overlords. So that's about as risky as you can get. At this stage, you could have had 20, 30 lings come in here, even with speed, and, and take care of that. But you're not going to see too many people do that. If it doesn't work out, then you just lose, and then you cry. Crying, contrary to popular belief, is not fun. Extract over your build, not quite taken yet. He's taken a lot of gas very, very early here. He's even taken his third and fourth gas, and moving up into lair. So we might even be seeing some... Well, essentially two base muta play potentially. You might get that third base while that muta tech is on the way. But essentially at this point, the Zerg player is teching and the Terran player is macroing heavy. So we'll see if if the Zerg player can get out the kind of well, those roaches. 
potentially if the Zerg player gets out the kind of composition he wants, he might be able to just go bust the front, do some sort of maybe a Baneling hit. But if that was the case, I would have expected to see Banelings by now. Six Roaches. It's not enough in my mind to really get too much done. That might just be for safety's sake. Whoa, nice shot. Turns around a few drones just to try to keep it alive, but... 11 kills for 4 Hellions in the early stage. Eh, I think it's pretty good. A lot of roaches are out now. It looks like he does want to go for some roach pressure. Obviously, Hero Marine is aware of this. He actually has a tank on the way and extra bunkers. That tank gets out, even Marauders. Should be alright. I can't remember. I, I think I was listening to some stats that is, you need, I think, two... SCVs repair the same rate of damage as a roach. So there's not a lot of surface area on this bunker to defend against that roach pressure. That tank is pretty aggressively forward. Um. Wow, that pressure just died. And that's actually going to be really, really, really crappy for t -Fowl here. He's got a huge amount of supply. He could go for that 12 minute Roach Max, the old school Stefano build. Uh, but unfortunately, even if he does get close, that second tank's going to come out and it's not going to work. Even if he had some Banelings out, maybe. These Roaches, unfortunately, are really going to hurt t -Fowl a lot because he invested a ton of resources into them and they just become super, super, I'm not going to say useless, but they lose a ton of their value as the game goes on. You're just going to see the Terran player get out really strong bio compositions, get out a little bit more on the Roaches, and uh, sorry, on the Marauders, and just be able to plow through this. The Terran, obviously, is in a position right now. Really huge worker lead. Has the three command centers, three orbitals. It's just, what the f sweet tits is this? Not too sure if that queen is way really that important. This is very all in ish here. I mean, there is a third base on the way. But with this kind of investment into roaches that he can't. Re and even more roaches. I don't know. This is really, really. Sh well, this could. <laughs> or a hero marine might actually just kill himself. You know, that's. He might just move out and get run over. Maybe Tfell knows something I don't. You have siege them, their tanks up. Pretty safe leapfrog of the tanks there. I think you should be alright. I think what would be very worthwhile is to actually complement speedlings in with this army. Because the speedlings will get on top of the tanks faster. Spreading out here. You know, it's this is just not going to work out, I don't think. Well, the bio is falling really fast. The roaches are closing in. This tank, these tanks should be target firing on the clumps if they have the option. There's still one tank over here doing some damage. I think that Hero Marine's okay with sacrificing a few of his workers in order to hold that off. Another, was that 17 more roaches I just saw in production? Cray. And this base is up and doing just fine over here. Still just one queen. This is a little strange. He hasn't waited for his reinforcements to show up here yet. Yeah, I was about to say, the medevacs are out, stim's done, tanks are finished. Kind of a sloppy game from Tfell there. I mean, it was... It was really hard for him after he invested that much in roaches to stop attacking. But at the same time... Uh, maybe it's just good play from Hero Marine. If these tanks weren't there and it's just Widow Mines... Perhaps that roach play would have helped. But even sending three roaches up here probably would have done really well. Uh, just keep the Terran pressured. Keep him on two bases while you move up to three. I could think of other things that maybe would have turned out better. But hindsight. Game one goes to Hero Marine. We'll be back game two right away.